awards ceremony. To brief you about engineering excellence, it was initiated in the year 2016 to recognize world-class achievements in engineering. This year, 2021 Tamil Nadu Engineers Forum is organizing annual Engineering Excellence Awards rivalry to recognize projects, firms, individuals demonstrating exceptional degree of engineering excellence in terms of innovations, complexity, achievements and value contributing to the development and growth of the country. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are moving ahead for our most awaited 5th Engineering Excellence Awards Ceremony. First, we will honor the winners under the individual categories for their engineering excellence followed by honoring the winners under various categories for their projects and services recognizing world class achievements in engineering young engineer of the year award main category goes to mr ahmed galib norman abdul abdul for his exceptional performance in saving units from emergency shutdown and also for saving in maintenance cost. Mr. Ahmad Galit Norman Abdul is currently working as a maintenance mechanical engineer, Min Abdullah 2, KNPC, and completed master's degree in business administration from the Gulf University of Science and Technology in 2019. Mr. Abdul Latif presented two technical papers at Kuwait maintenance summits. 2016 and 2017. Also, Mr. Abdul Latif is recipient of several awards, which includes Best UD Engineer Award 2016, Best Engineer Award at Alzur Project Floor, New Delhi 2016, Best Quarter Engineer Award 2021, achieved the second place in Kuwait for the Chartered Financial Analyst Competition, recognition from CEO KNPC for saving in maintenance cost, recognition from Manager Maintenance and DCEO Min Abdullah for saving units from going to emergency shutdown. Yes, I would like to thank the Engineers Forum for recognizing me and I am happy and truly honored to receive such a prestigious award the Young Engineer of the Year. I personally appreciate the efforts of TF for conducting such a high-profile event, including technical conference exhibition, monthly seminars, Engineering Excellence Awards, and I wish TF to expand this mod globally with several chapters. Finally, I want to thank Mr. Jay Kumar, the President, and Mr. Keshi Kumar, the General Secretary, for giving me the opportunity to participate in this wonderful event. Next, Next. Young, Young Engineer Young. of the Year Female category goes to Ms. Fatima Al Zalzala. Fatima Al Zalzala, a 24 year old Kuwaiti electrical engineer, has launched a non profit researching initiative, Eco Star, to exchange trees and plants for waste from homes in Kuwait. Al Zalzala started with her younger sister Marwa the initiative, spending 200 Kuwaiti dinars, about 657 US dollars per month, for a used car and a hired driver to pick up the waste. Currently, she has cooperated with a local agriculture company which provides plants as a reward for those committed to sorting and delivering waste to the initiative. Then, the waste will be delivered to recycling factories. 
Al Zelzala was rewarded as one of the seven winners of the Young Champions of the Year Prize for the year 2020. She considered this award as a wake-up call to recycle waste in Kuwait. According to the UNEP, Kuwait generates 1.5 kg of trash per person per day, twice the global average. A 2014 study showed that 76% of Kuwait's waste is recyclable and the potential value of the raw materials that could be saved from dumps is over 130 million US dollars annually. Next, Engineer of the Year Award goes to Dr. Abdul Razak Rumani. Dr. Rumani is an internationally acclaimed engineer, consultant and author of six useful entitled Quality Management in Oil and Grass Projects 2021. Quality Auditing in Construction Projects published by Rutledge UK 2019 and Quality Management in Construction Projects 2nd Edition 2017. Handbook of Construction Management. Scope, Schedule and Cost Control 2016. Quality Tools for Managing Construction Projects 2013. And Quality Management in Construction Projects 2010 All these books are published by CRC Press, Florida, USA. Both these publishers are Taylor and Francis Group Companies, UK. His book Quality Management in Construction Projects is translated into Korean language. Asian African Chamber of Commerce and Industry honored him with the Techno Entrepreneur of the Year 2021 in construction management during Asian African Business Summit. CEO Insights India listed Dr. Abdul Razak Romani as top 10 Indian leaders in Kuwait 2021. Mr. Abdul Razak Romani received his PhD from Kennedy Western University, USA in 2005. His dissertation topic for PhD was Quality Engineering Applications in Construction Projects. He obtained his BE Electrical from Government Engineering College, Aurangabad, affiliated to Marathwada University in the year 1972. He was awarded an honorary doctorate in engineering by the Yorker International University in Italy in 2007 and Vikram Shil Hindi Vidyapit, Bihar. India honored him with a degree in Sahitya Shiromani in 2014. He is nominated for Doctor of Philosophy in Quality Management of the International University, Missouri, USA. Dr. Romani is recipient of 31 prestigious international awards and medals, as if gold medal in the field of quality in construction projects by Albert Schweitzer International Foundation 2019. Global Award for Excellence in Quality and Leadership 2014 by World Quality Congress among others. His biography has been published by various publishers in their different title books. He has attended numerous international conferences organized by professional organizations where he delivered memorial lecture, made technical presentation and also was keynote speaker. He conducted workshop at the Advancing Construction Quality Conference held at Denver, USA. The topic of workshop was Where do I start? Introducing a new quality management system to your company. Dr. Romani is associated with several international professional bodies. He is a Chartered Quality Professional Fellow of the Chartered Quality Institute UK, Fellow of the Institution of Engineers India, Senior Members of AS USA, Honorary Fellow of Chartered Management Association Hong Kong. He is Certified Consultant Engineer in the field of Project Management and Electrical Engineering. Dr. Romani has served many organizations in the honorary capacity and actively involved in voluntary works. He was Chairman of the Institution of Engineers India, Kuwait Chapter for four terms. He was Founder President of Kokan Welfare Society, Kuwait, where he served for four terms. He also served for two terms as President of Frontliners, a community service portal registered with Embassy of India to the state of Kuwait. Presently, he is the Vice Chair of ASQ Section Kuwait and International Liaison Committee Chair of ASQ, 
Design and Construction Division, Milwaukee for the year 2021. Dr. Romani is from Chandvi Raigar, a small village in Kokain area of Maharashtra, India, and is currently a resident of Kuwait associated with Sigilco Kuwait as advisor and director construction management. His professional career exceeds 49 years. Greetings to everyone from Dr. Abdul Jalal Romani. I thank Steph for such a prestigious award. I accept with honor and pride. I appreciate the steps taken by Steph in conducting the international technical conferences to enhance the knowledge and information of the engineering community not only in Kuwait but internationally i wish them success in all their programs thank you once again i thank dev for this award thank you very much next category promising engineer of the year the award goes to master ajay krishna he is the son of our well known chief engineer mr b sekar Master Ajay Krishna completed his bachelor's in mechanical engineering in 2020 at St Joseph's College of Engineering Chennai affiliated to Anna University and currently working as a junior engineer he is also a chess player representing India in several international competitions and he has achieved silver medal in all india inter university chess championship 2016 17 bronze medal in all india inter university chess championship 2017 18 gold medal in all india inter university chess championship 2018 19 attained international master title in chess in the recent tournament held at budapest hungary congratulations to the master ajay krishna and his parents for this proud achievement and the all the very best to achieve the grand master title soon next category engineering veteran award chef is very proud to announce the winner of this year's most prestigious chef veteran award and he is one of the most respected and recognized chef engineer by all the engineering business and social community is in kuwait he is none other than our chef ex president mr g mutukumar he is a fire protection specialist graduated from national fire service college and he has about 34 years of experience in oil and gas industry and currently working in tipic a sportsman a liberal rationalist and a socialist who plays a prominent role in many tamil organization he is part of tef since inception and has been tef secretary for 3 years and as president for 2 years he is one of the lead role player in rising tef to where it is today and also launching the conference to international levels is one of the remarkable contributions congratulations mr g mutukumar on this great recognition for your exemplary contribution to tef next category it's a new and special category for social responsibility and community support added this year this award is for the individuals who are involved in community support activities in kuwait and helping the society this year excellence in social responsibility award goes to Mr K Venkata Madi Mr Madi is well known among the Tamil communities in Kuwait and in Tamil Nadu for his helping hands in supporting several community members from our native land throughout his life he has been enlightening the lives of various people through his voluntary support for education job referrals financial needs medical support and community development He has been associated himself with a social service organization called Indian Frontliners and serving as its welfare wing secretary. Mr. Madi was honored with the titles like Seva Semai, Samudwa Semai by several associations for his 25 years of social service. Some of the major activities Mr. Madi has been contributing to the Indian communities here in Kuwait are helping to send the dead bodies back home of the supportless individuals. who die like orphanage in kuwait or conducting funerals in few cases in kuwait itself 
coordinating with Indian Embassy and Kuwait authorities in getting all the approval and formalities to send the diseased bodies, providing help for the people allegedly deceived by the sponsor or the agents to get the embassy letters and proper documents for their repatriation back home, assisting the needy people to reach out to the proper authorities to solve the residence and visa related issues, providing moral support to the sick people who are hospitalized here in the Kuwait hospitals without friends or relatives, provides the financial support to the poor or sick people to go back to India either mobilizing funds through the associations or with the support from the Indian Embassy. One of the biggest achievements by Mr. Madhi is to suspend the execution of two Indian nationals sentenced to death in Kuwait with the help of Indian Embassy and then Ambassador Sri Satish C. Mehta by getting the information before three days of execution. Tef is really proud and pleased in awarding this excellence in Social Responsibility Award to Mr. Venkata Madhi. <laughs> Kuai terminal pun jalan ramai tu, yang ada semua servis berhenti, virus orang yang kita ada, ini virus ini, anda semua bermain alat ni kira, semua servis tak ada, virus orang ni, kuai terminal pun jalan ramai tu, yang ada mana mana nak dia terbit tu kira, kalau dah hidup tu jualan orang tu melayu ada, pelbagai rumah tu kira, pelbagai rumah tu ada ada, Indian Embassy, Indian Front Trainers, Mohan Das Sir, nama panitia ini juga senang orang kita cari mana kahiyah lagi Sir. Ilamaran sah, subu, raja sah, pukul sah, macam yang ni kita mila mila pukul, anak itu kan, anda tahu ni tu, anak itu mana makan anak itu 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 pukul ni. Ini udah begini anak itu, anak tani patah mungkin sih itu udah begini lah. Muka ni pon dah, anak baru lah, anak itu dia kudu ni yang cari sih itu udah begini. Muka lah, macam ni anak orang orang kan, anda tahu ni tu, mana makan anak itu 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 pukul ni. Nanti. Next category, prestigious, most awaited and honorable award, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Engineering Stewardship Award, accomplished leader and the award goes to Mr. Aisha A. Bayabes. Aisha A. Bayabes completed his BS Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering from Pennsylvania State University in 1977 and he has worked nearly 28 years for Kuwait Oil Company and got retired in 2005 as manager, field development, West Kuwait. Asia A. Boyabes received many acclaims for his key role in Kuwait's Wild Well Killers firefighting team, which was responsible for extinguishing Kuwait's oil well fires in 45 days post the Iraqi invasion in 1991 then established and managed a post capping team that managed to repair and fix more than 700 well in less than one year enabling Kuwait oil company to recover its production capacity in very short time at minimal cost thus enable other sister companies in Kuwait Petroleum Corporation to start normal operations. He is also the board member of Kuwait Society of Petroleum Engineers, Kuwait Society of Engineers. We are honored and pleased in awarding this prestigious award to Mr. Aisa A. Boyabes. Dear participants of Tamil Nadu Engineer of Peru, to be held 11th November 2021, I would like to extend my great appreciation for the committee of the forum to consider me for this prestigious award and would like to extend my thanks to all participants and the initiators of this great event and the great society or community of engineers that was established in the year 2000. Since then, I'm sure a great, great number of individuals, companies and all kinds of personnel have benefited from this great effort and large and vast accumulation of expertise and knowledge of different type of engineering discipline, which I'm sure is a great 
wealth for the new engineers and the people who are seeking information and knowledge. I think, I'm sure it is a great database that will help everybody to get what they need in a very short time with this new society and technologies. I'm sure that everybody is doing his effort and exerting his time and uh, effort to participate in this organization. I wish you all success and again I would like to extend my appreciation and thanks. Let us be move on to the awards for the projects and services in Kuwait having excelled with innovation and creativity category wise. Category Consultancy Gold Award goes to Pay for the architectural and engineering design services of New Palace of Justice Quite Project. The Amiri Divan engaged Pace to rebuild and expand the historic Palace of Justice in Quite City, which has stood as a symbol of fairness and integrity for decades. The New Palace of Justice will be the largest judicial building in the Middle East. The project is located in a prime location in Kuwait City on a plot of 34,500 square meter area. The new building will have an area of 356,189 square meter and with 141 courtrooms and offices spaces over 25 floors, 3 placements plus 22 floors and 1 technical. In addition, both conventional and automated car parking will provide 2741 parking spaces. Upon completion, the Palace of Justice will be the largest judicial building in the Middle East. Next category Consultancy Silver Award goes to Gulf Consult for the architectural and engineering design services of Kuwait Cancer Center project. Kuwait Cancer Center is the largest cancer hospital in the MENA region and the second largest in the world, equipped with more than 618 beds and most modern healthcare facility in this 15-story building. The design structure is environment friendly and aims to achieve the silver rating requirements of the US Green Building Council's lead rating system. Next category, Construction Gold Award goes to SSH for the Design and Construction Supervision Services of Al Andalus Mixed Use Complex Project. Al Andalus set to become a significant entertainment hub in the popular Havali district, reflecting quite traditional urban forms. Al Andalus will accommodate commercial space, clinics, restaurants, retail and entertainment including 11 cinemas and a gymnasium. It covers more than 40,000 square meter and is linked by a pedestrian bridge to an existing multi-level car park with approximately 1,200 parking base. Category Construction Gold Award goes to Alganic International for the construction of Sheikh Abdullah Al Salam Cultural Center project. The Sheikh Abdullah Al Salam Cultural Center has created a new world class museum district within Kuwait City. Together with the Sheikh Jabbar Al Ahmad Cultural Center, it forms Kuwait's new national cultural district. The cultural district is a celebration of the scientific and cultural achievements of mankind and the scale, shapes, and shades of the buildings are designed to convey a sense of wonder and awe. The museum district consists of six main buildings, Natural History Museum, Science Museum, Museum of Islamic History, Space Museum, Fine Arts Center, and Theater. Category Environment Gold Award goes to Quite Hospital for the initiative Recycle Quite Program. 
Why hospital is highly committed to contribute to the UN Sustainable Development Goals and to follow all laws, regulations and other policy mechanisms concerning the environment. In minimizing the environmental impact of operations, Kuwait Hospital has developed an internal waste management process in alliance with Recycle Kuwait Industrial Program to collect hospital paper and plastic waste for recycling purposes. Kuwait Hospital's commitment to sustainable goals towards a greener environment while becoming one of the Kuwait's leading private healthcare institutions. Category Operation Gold Award goes to Petrofat, Samsung, CB and I, JV for the large crude distillation unit in MAB refinery. The country's largest crude distillation unit with a refining capacity of 264,000 barrels per day. The JV team has achieved this major milestone, the successful operation of CDU, despite the many operational challenges due to pandemic. Category Operation Silver Award goes to Heavy Engineering Industries and Chef Building for the successful commissioning and handover of fuel supply system infrastructure within Doha West Power Station. Category Industry Gold Award goes to Alpur Industrial Projects for their new product Chlor Tayak Kut. Category Technology Gold Award goes to Honeywell for their post cyber security software to safeguard cyber security performance, mitigate risk and management efficiency at the Kipix Alzo refinery and LNGA terminal in Southern Kuwait. Category Education Gold Award goes to Kuwait Institute of Medical Specialization for arranging training programs for Kuwaiti healthcare professionals. This agreement leads more training opportunities for Kuwaiti doctors in French hospitals and increase in the number of study places, postgraduate medical studies, cooperation and exchange of experiences in the field of research, training and joint scientific programs that will improve understanding and cooperation between the state of Kuwait and the French Republic. Category Water Management Gold Award goes to Hydrotech Engineering Company for the Ministry of Public Works Project Supply, Installation, Operation and Maintenance of Permanent Non-Contact Flow Meters All Over Kuwait Category Operational Excellence Gold Award goes to Sinopec for the 11 years safe operation at SP158 Drilling Rig in North Kuwait and in achieving 7 years of work with no LTI Category Transportation Gold Award goes to Doka for Kuwait first cantilever bridge project The 37 km RA 217 section of the Navasip Road also known as Road 40 is one of Kuwait's most important transport projects and part of Kuwait's development plan 2015-2020. The Navasip Road in Kuwait forms an important part of the country's national infrastructure, providing a strategic logistic corridor to neighboring Saudi Arabia. In delivering a solution for the highway bridge section, Doka helped provide Kuwait with a landmark achievement, its first in-situ cantilever bridge. Category Social Responsibility and Community Support Gold Award goes to Sinopec Yamas Sinopec, a Chinese oil company, helped Kuwait during May 2020 fight against an outbreak of COVID-19 by turning its supply base for the Alzur refinery into a makeshift coronavirus hospital with 1700 beds in Kuwait. With this, 5th Engineering Excellence Awards came to an end. TEF congratulates all the participants and award winners.